Hey, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. We are currently in Island Lake. We are driving the Caterpillar 6 or CT681. Um, we are not where we left off. Uh, I actually drove this truck and the MK38 back from Smithville Island. We're actually going to start heading towards um, the port in uh, Drummond Island. Uh, but anyways, I was driving and, of course, the last time I ended uh, my recordings, I did the update on my computer and, of course, it decided to change my default mic again. So I go in OBS and then change it back to uh, my Hypercast instead of, I think it's picking up the microphone on the controller, maybe? Um, I might have to try to unload or unplug the controller next time it updates because uh, I don't know what other mic I would have. I don't have anything else that's connected that has a microphone uh, besides my microphone and my PS4 controller. Uh, but anyways, I went about I went through about a half an hour of recording. And then realized that the mic was not recording. Um, so it would have been just a like the two episodes I had quite a while ago where it was just audio or where it was just game footage, there was no commentary. And from what I gathered <laughs> from the comments, uh, people definitely want the commentary. So I just decided to throw out that recording. And here I am. Basically starting off from our drilling location uh, that we actually finished last episode. So luckily we weren't too far out so anyways we've got a nice uh, fairly easy drive. I don't think anything's too complicated um, but I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll try to make it complicated. Uh, I already know there's a shortcut that I might take. There's there's part of my complications. My suspension is actually fairly well damaged. Um, so next time we come across a repair trailer, we're going to have to hit that up because we are running low on our suspension. And we're not 100% sure what riding on damaged suspension does. I'm assuming the truck won't be as high. Um, and it also won't be able to smoothly transition over bumps. Uh, but other than that, I'm not 100% sure what uh, your suspension does in this game. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, well, soon we're going to be running on no suspension. We have like one hit point left. Uh, so that's, I, I guess, a downside to this truck so far from driving it uh, it's pretty quick I mean I'm not even out all wheel drive right now which is insane I actually can save a, almost a gallon a minute on gas so that helps out um, but it seems to be fairly um, I don't, I don't want to say not durable but you definitely can easily damage this truck. Unlike other trucks like the MK38, so... Let's jump over to Drummond Island. There is a fuel tanker... Actually, we'll probably pass the gas station first. Um, yeah, that's the service trailer, so we gotta make it to there. Yeah, we don't have any other option. So we're going to have to get make it to this return, or return, this repair trailer. And then we have to go all the way up to the port here, so... You know what? Nothing's out of the way, so that's nice. Uh, well, technically, this is the only thing that's out of the way. The uh, game loves to drop you off after your start point. 
which is a little on the annoying side, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and use our all-wheel drive to our advantage. And I, I find like the truck's ability to get through things in two-wheel drive or in um, rear wheel drive. I don't know how you even say that. Um, but when you have all-wheel drive off, the truck gets through a lot of things pretty easily. Especially compared to other trucks. Um, but then when you throw all-wheel drive on, there isn't that much of a bonus. Um, so say all-wheel drive is like 100% in this truck. Um, not having it on only drops you down to say 80% where in other trucks it will drop you down to like 60% or even 40% I think some trucks um, you know they're almost completely useless in two-wheel drive and until you throw it in all-wheel drive or even lock the differential that's when you see huge gains so uh, but this truck seems to be like 80% uh, all will drive off, right? Like, I think any other truck would be spinning its tires and not going very fast through this, but this truck just seems to bomb through it. So I guess that's my review for this truck. <laughs> it's probably still not as good as the MK38, but it's, um, it's definitely a contender with the fact that its two-wheel drive is pretty good. And it gets pretty good gas mileage. Like most of the time, I'm less than three gallons, three mile, three gallons per minute. So um, we're coming up on my shortcut, but I don't think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to go straight. I'm going to get gas, and then hopefully we'll make it to the um, repair trailer before we lose that last bit of suspension. It's, it's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. The nice thing about this map is you pretty much just have the one main road. So it's hard to, uh, it's hard to get lost. <laughs> we should be coming up to a bridge. And or a puddle of mud. Not the band. Uh, yeah, we're still here. Please pass the hot. I think the uh, bridge is around this corner. Nice little. S turn there. Oh, took a little bit of damage to the fuel tank. We might, we might end up with a leaking fuel tank. I think about half. Oh, 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 oh. I almost fell off the bridge. Uh, I think about halfway it starts leaking. So hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Take a look at that. That truck just did that hauling cargo up that hill into no drive. That's in, that's insane. This truck's two-wheel drive ability is where it's at, for sure. Look at I'm, I'm a gallon a minute right there. Uh, let's see if we can pull into the gas station without breaking anything. Yay, we did it! Let's go ahead and fill her up. Oh, see, this is a weird thing too. You can't stall this engine. I'm in high gear at a dead stop, holding down the throttle and nothing. So, let's throw it back in auto. We'll get it up and moving again. I think you go this way. Yes, you go this way. Let's clear those stumps, get those out of the way.
See, like, I probably could have made that in two-wheel drive. I didn't have to switch it to all-wheel drive. And then all-wheel drive isn't that much better. Like, we're getting through. Don't get me wrong, but it really isn't that much better. So, it does help though. Don't get me wrong there. Alright, so we can throw it back in the two wheel drive. Do you want to make sure I don't screw anything up? Definitely don't want to fall off a bridge like that. Gotta get these drilling parts. Hell, yeah, look at that. Downshifted, it's fine. Not a problem. It actually almost feels like it is diff locked. Even throwing it in diff lock, I mean, it does give you a little boost too. So maybe, maybe it's more like 80, 70. We'll say 75% two-wheel drive, 95%, 90% all-wheel drive, and then 100% with diff locked. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Oh. This sucks. Um. I have a suspension mode? Oops. <laughs> Isn't that fancy? So that does something. Um, whatever that does, I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Okay. I always get nervous about that because the trailers can topple over. Oops. happens now if I go into suspension mode? That really doesn't do anything, does it? In fact, it lifts... It lifts my back wheels off the ground. Anyways, you can see where, what I mean by... The truck just doesn't have that much more gusto. Alright. We're gonna winch this forward, I think, because... where this trailer is sitting. But first things first, let's repair. It's weird that you can only repair while attached to these, but something like a... I'm actually going to stick it back farther. This trailer is just... Alright, we're just gonna leave it there. Well, maybe that's why I couldn't back up more. Ay ay ay. Alright, so we're... we're nice... we're nice and... prepared. Let's go ahead and get this lined up on the first shot. Nope, not gonna happen. But you know what? Good enough. See, and now... We can get around this pine tree. Without rolling this trailer. We should be good to go. Alright. So now we got a bunch of mud in front of us, which isn't a 
great thing. This truck does not handle mud very well. And I think that comes down to the tires. She really does like to bog down, so... don't want to behind me. Oh, this game, it's, it's quick winch. Alright, so... To the... Do not pay attention to our next forking road. I think they just go right. does take a lot of damage from like head-on collisions pretty well. Um, it just doesn't like to run over things. No! I almost recovered instead of refueling. <laughs> Alright, so I think we go straight there. Yep, we go straight and just follow that road around. Should be um, pretty straightforward. Knock on wood. We have, uh, we have had some weird luck lately. We're actually making pretty good progress. So that's a good thing. I, I feel like I've been playing forever because of the issues that I've been having that didn't get recorded. And or that got recorded and deleted because they were kind of pointless to show. So yes, I, I feel like I've been playing forever. Oh, uh, probably should take that a little bit slower. Got really, really close to the face of that rock there. kind of interested to see how this truck does in the snow. Um, just because it does so well until mud. So I'm wondering if it would be just as good in the snow until it hit mud. Because the first part of Alaska has a lot of mud in it. A little bit of ice. But mostly snow and mud. I think, I think you're better off with a truck with mud tires um, than chain tires in the uh, snow slash mud. Chain tires, don't get me wrong, are amazing on ice, but that's, that's about their, the scope of their abilities. It would be amazing if you could put chains on snow, or on, um, uh, mud tires and actually have the benefits of both. Um, and I, I wonder if they'd ever do a snow, a natural snow tire <laughs> that is supposed to do well on snow and ice and not so much on asphalt. Their, their only downside is above um, 7 degrees Celsius. They, uh, well, they basically start to um, melt because they'll, they'll heat up too much and you'll lose half your tread in one season, so. All right, there we go. Look at that. We have made it to the port and we have made 590 experience with 4750 in cash. Whew. All right, cool. That's the end of that mission. Um, so we have no tasks in this area. Let's see. Out with the old. What is this? 
construction rig, drilling site, metal beams, and oil drilling rig. High, ooh, excuse me. Ah, uh, high saddle is required. So, oh. Uh, let's see what else there is. Those are all locks. Logs for workers, aid to the island. Which is what? Some things to the farm. There's a farm on this map? I guess there's a farm on this map. I don't know where they're doing their farming. Must be hydroponics or something, because I don't see any farmland. <laughs> Um, so, that's kind of logging, and the farm needs two medium logs. Where is the lumber, or where's the, uh, oh, it's all the way back here in Island Lake. That's your log station pickup. So that is, that, that is why it's worth $11,000. Because there is a lot of hull, hull in there. Um, and then this is all timber as well. <clears throat> Long logs, medium logs, medium logs. This is a lot of logs too. And some of these this, these logging missions are m massive. You'd have to do maybe two episodes. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do the out with the old. So let's activate that. We'll go ahead and back out of all this. Um, we are going to stop the engine. Because I believe we need a high... We need a truck with a high saddle. And there's only one truck that has a high saddle right now. And it's the international. No, sorry. It's the Western Star. All right, so we are going to try and do this with this truck. I don't think this truck is capable of pulling this semi trailer. But you know what? I could be wrong. It's got some pretty good upgrades on it. It's just the issue is, is the frame is so long. The wheelbase is so spread out. That's usually not the greatest for hauling large items, but it's not the greatest for rough terrain, I should say. That's really where the, the issue comes in. So let's go ahead and we're going to take it over to um, I guess it's Drummond Island. <laughs> I almost said Smithville Lake, but or Smithville Lake. It's uh, Smithville Dam, but yeah, that's not where we're going. Um, let's go ahead and refuel. What? Did I not hold that down? Oh, I stole it all. Took it out of the wrong vehicle. That's all right. So we are going to just drive over, have a nice, calm, relaxing, commentary free drive over there and we are going to listen to the sounds of the game and hopefully enjoy this drive <laughs> oh man I need a day off <laughs> all right anyways I hope you guys enjoy this uh, quiet time
All right, so we are at not the dam. I almost said the dam. <laughs> we are at the docks. We now have to take the construction rig all the way to Smithville Dam. And then once we get to Smithville Dam, we have to drop it off at this drill site. So this is going to be one heck of a, um, excuse me, <clears throat> this is going to be one heck of a, a drive. So, um, I think what we're going to do We could, we could go either way. And I, I just think going to Smithville Dam. Yeah. We're gonna have to come... Through here. Through here. Through here. Through here. Through here. I really hope my, uh, engine's turned off. Through here. Refuel here. Past these metal beams. And possibly refuel there and that will get us to Smithville Dam. So hopefully, hopefully that should do it for us. <clears throat> now once we get to Smithville Dam, that's a whole nother uh, cup of tea. Is that the right saying? Cup of tea? It's a whole nother... Ah, you know what? It works. Whoa. All right, so I can't even, I can barely see the truck <laughs> over this trailer. So this is going to be an interesting battle. I actually might want to recover the MK and have it meet us once we get across. I guess we have to go across the dam, but does this fit? I think this will fit across the dam. They put that 90 degree corner in on the dam and I've never, never liked that because I've never seen <laughs> something so severe on a dam before. So um, not a huge fan of that corner. So but I, I, I think they put it in just to make it hard. Um, we have ground out for the first time. But you know what? That took a... that's a pretty significant climb. So that's not too bad. I was thinking it was going to probably grind up... grind... ground out a little bit more than uh, what it normally does. More like what uh, hauling that um, eight cargo uh, trailer was like. Although this one is pretty high. It doesn't have the, the feet that hang nearly as low as the other one does. Looks like uh, we have so much weight on the back of this axle that those tires don't spin at all. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now they're breaking loose. That's good. All right, so <clears throat> let's try to keep the uh, power up and the wheels spinning at a decent speed. Yeah, that's a little bit of a tight turn here. Oh. That, that hurt a little bit. It's not ideal to smash your truck into a rock. Wow, who am I kidding? It was basically a boulder. All right, oh, jeez. Uh-oh. We have done a lot of damage to this truck already. A lot of damage. So we're actually sucking. I, I you know what? I don't know what the issue is. I feel like the gas mileage is pretty low. Oh, there we go. Now it's high.
Uh oh. Can we put it in low? There we go. We need to repair soon. Alright. We're gonna have to leave it in low plus, I think. Actually, you're gonna let me reverse. Okay, so we were hung up on a uh, on a stone practically. This isn't good. <clears throat> Try to go to as wide as possible. I don't know if we can get this across. This is the only rock to go. I'm so damaged. Let's detach the trailer. It should stay there. I am not super close to the um, repair trailer, but we're going to have to go there. I think that's what the issue right now is, is that we're so damaged that I don't have the power to bring it around that corner. <clears throat> and where is I guess that's the closest one so we're gonna have to hustle over there at least we'll pass a uh, fuel tanker bypass the fuel tanker for now. It sounds kind of dumb, but we should be okay. So I just, I took way too much damage smashing into that rock and then hitting... I don't remember if I hit something the last time when the engine gave out. I must have. It's the only thing that makes sense. But yeah, gotta I gotta be a bit more careful with this truck and uh, this trailer. And of course, you got to uh, connect to this trailer in order to use it. And I'm hoping there's enough parts in it because I've used it a couple times. So hopefully. So let's repair. Okay, we got plenty. Perfect. Although the odd thing is, is my fuel is still saying red. I don't know what that means. Does that mean I have... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say, does that mean I have water in my fuel or what? Because everything is, is repaired. And everything's good to go, so... I'm actually going to bring this with me. Uh, I'm going to bring this with me to where the fuel tanker is. Let's see if I... Come on. Let's get through this mud. There we go. Just in time to get through this mud. But hopefully, we'll skip most of it by riding the uh, shoulder there. And then there's this mud. <laughs> so again, we'll try to deflect off to the side. Try not to go through the center of it. And ta-da! 
detach the trailer there. Oops. Let's go ahead and refuel. And now we can go get our trailer. Ugh. Man, these, these missions are not easy. Which makes me a little nervous for um, Alaska and Russia. Because if these aren't easy, what are those missions going to be like? I know we'll have uh, more capable trucks, but... We're also probably going to have bigger trailers to deal with. Um, yeah, I think right here is... Actually... Turn around right here. It's almost like they knew <laughs> that this was going to be a trouble spot. Great place to put a fuel and a uh, repair <clears throat> trailer as well. All right, so we're gonna get close to the guardrail as possible. We're gonna attach this truck. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in low. We're gonna try to go as close as possible. definitely help having that extra power although now we're stuck let's see here let's attach to the rear ah that's to a tree isn't it yeah let's try that again So hopefully that is completely unstuck. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get stuck again sooner or later, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Straight and around the bend. <laughs> A little bit of mud, nothing too bad. Drop onto asphalt, so that's nice. Definitely no issues there. Still got to go really wide. Refuel that nine gallons. Although probably not overly important. Apparently I'm just going to go up and over these rocks. <laughs> uh, I didn't, I, I honestly didn't expect it to do that. So <sighs> kind of nice that it did go up and over. Now these beams are in the way and I think I'm just gonna get rid of them I left them there just in case I ended up having a mission where I would need them um, but yeah well, maybe we can squeeze by them all right never mind guess I don't have to delete them I don't even think we touched them nope so that's looking good Come on. Struggling a little bit. Like I said, this isn't the, the best truck for the job, but it's the truck that we had. Which sometimes you just gotta deal with, so. Oh, 
Push it. Push it. Come on. Let's go. Alright, I think we have a pretty good stretch of asphalt for now. Um, hopefully this clears. Yes, it does. to the guardrails for the rest of it. So, I felt like I got really far away from the guardrail, but... I mean, I got really, really close. No, I did get far away from the guardrail. I said it right the first time. Wait. Alright. So we are seconds away from Smithville Dam. I wonder... And you know what? We might as well refuel. And I wonder if it's downpouring there, like it's downpouring here. I guess this is where we find out how long these tunnels are. Because if they're long enough to where it doesn't rain on the other side... Nope, it's not raining, it's sunny. It's like it's a whole nother, um... Oh my... Okay, do I do that? Do I cut through? I am I am stupidly tempted to try to cut through. I know you can get across these rocks fairly easily. I'm not 100% sure if we can get across the land though. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Um, and if you see this, then that means that I made it across. If you don't see it, then you'll be watching the alternate universe of me going across the Smithville Dam and going around the long way. I really don't think this is the right truck to be doing this in. I don't think the water is that deep. Oh, there we go. That probably helps to, um... Um... I've never noticed this house over here. Huh. Interesting. Alright, so let's, um... Let's just throw it in low plus and... We're just gonna take our sweet time. We're gonna cruise. We're not gonna fight this. Going down this hill is, should be a cakewalk. Going up, it's a different story. And I, I may need to bring... I may need to bring um, another truck for assistance, so... This wasn't um, the worst idea I've ever had. Right now, I'm thinking it was. I'm thinking it definitely is. Let's try not to roll it. Surprisingly, this thing is fairly sturdy for the size. Um, so we gotta go to the left. Uh, what am I thinking? You know when you have that idea and you just know from the beginning it's a bad idea, but you do it anyways? I'm having flashbacks of those. Struggling a little bit through this mud. I don't think the rocks are going to be overly hard. Um, it's just a matter of if I can get to them. Can I reach them? 
I don't, I don't know. I think I gotta come down the opposite side. This is really sketchy. Try to stick as far over here as possible. Yep. That's not working. Try to reverse out of here. Are we that stuck? Look at how much that tree's moving. All right, wow. Well. That help? We're slowly moving. I don't know if that's a good thing. I really want to be on this side of the... the See if I can attach it there, maybe? There we go. No, no, no. I gotta get the front of the truck over. I gotta get it past those rocks. We're going to use that tree to hopefully help us from rolling. Okay. Well, we're on the correct side of the rocks. Okay, we didn't roll it. That's a good plus. Here. There's so many winch planes on this thing. Let's see if we can. All we gotta do is get it off those rocks. I think the downside with this route is that there's no there's no winch planes now. I'm just gonna go up and over that. Stay to the left. I cannot believe I'm actually doing this right now. Um, we hung up on. Hung up on that. What am I connected? I am connected to that. Let's put it in low. Let's put that on. There we go. Oh, that's that's using the low minus. I think that's the first time that I used the low minus and it actually powered through it. I gotta stay dangerously close to the edge of these rocks in order to get this trailer to 
to squeeze around. Okay, so far so good. Oh my, this is, this is, um... This is an interesting path. So this gets a little deep through here. I hope we'll fit. Come on, just keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. So far, so good. This is going to be... This may be a problem. I think I gotta go up and over this part of the rock. Only because... We gotta keep those... Find some grip. What are we stuck on? I feel like we weren't stuck on something, but it dropped. As if we were. And we have finally screwed the pooch. making it. Yes. Yes. We're doing it. Oh my. Oh wow. We did it. We did. We made it to the halfway point. Oh. But at least we're on solid rock slash these small boulders. You know what? My differential wasn't even locked. That's, that's, that's pretty. <laughs> Alright, so we'll bypass this. I think we're gonna get hung up here. I really truly do. Um, this way it would be less of a... Yep. Alright, let's see if we can... Can we use the... Spike as a... Lunch point? Oh, we can. Alright, we should be fine then. Okay, famous last word. Should be. Let's go ahead and put it in low. Definitely have nothing that is attachable there. Attach the winch and pull. I don't know, are we stuck on the flagpole itself? Oh, uh, we might be. I mean, we shouldn't be stuck on it. We're definitely touching it. Definitely stuck. Which is not the spot that I thought we were going to get stuck in. Let's back up now.
Detach the trailer and attach. There we go. Alright, that was just violent enough. <laughs> Shall we try going around this way? Come on. Still stuck. Okay. There we go. Come on, inch forward. Come on. This is where having a bigger truck and higher up would would definitely come in handy. There we go. We're gonna leave it in low road. an eye on these rocks. I think this is pretty straightforward. Don't think there's any rocks in here that are going to bring us up. As long as the current doesn't push us. Which it kind of is. Shoot for the edge of these rocks here. Hopefully, be able to crawl out up that hill. Oh, oh wow! That was a little uh, close. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't have gone into um, cab view. Alright, so we've got 40 gallons of gas, so we're halfway through our gas. So that's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and go low plus. Um, yeah, I guess we gotta go through those bushes there. And hope that... We don't get um, hung up. some ramming speed. I guess I shouldn't have, um... Am I attached to something? There we go. We're just gonna find everything that we can attach to and pull. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so there's plenty enough stuff. Maybe we can uh, skirt around this. Yeah. Let's go on the low. Let's lock that bit. Let's see if we can wiggle our way through. Come on, we just gotta get those back wheels on the ground again. Oh. That's craziness. I'm going to try something. Can I back down? I can back down. Okay. Right there's good. Let's attach the winch to the sides here. Let's go to that tree. And we're going to go to low plus. No, low, low, low. <laughs> we're just gonna try to winch and drive at the same time. And that's not cutting it. Yep. Let's see if we can... Let's 
go ahead and back back down. That's not moving. All right, attach the winch there. Attach it to, I don't know how. There we go. Oh, oh. Let's go, let's go in reverse. There we go. This is too rocky, or it's too uh, uneven. So we're gonna try to go this route. And it's it's slightly longer, but hopefully it will be um, possible. Because <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get up that way without bringing in another uh, truck. Speed. There we go. All right, we need to follow this trail right here. All right, so I think that would have been faster than driving all the way around. It's hard to say. We definitely fought. It was a good, well fight. Good fought fight. And I, I think we're pretty much home safe. Ah, there goes that momentum that just kills you. There we go. Let's just leave the differential on. If it starts hurting the truck, then so be it. We're kind of, I think we're done with the high saddle after this. The rest of the missions, I think, can be done with the other trucks that are out there. Oh, and we are there. We aren't there. How are we not here? That's just the drop-off point. There we go. It's an auto drop-off point. <laughs> All right, so now we need two metal beams. So this truck and um, can go to sleep and we can, what do we need to drop off here? We just need metal beams. We can get those from there. We can get those from there. Um, what do we have in the garage here? We have you. <laughs> we have the truck we probably should have used on the container. Or on the, uh, the drill thing, but, um, anyways, uh, I think we're going to end it there and yeah, we don't, we don't really have another truck that we could buy. I mean, I suppose we can try this, but I don't believe we have all wheel drive, but the other cat really didn't need, seem to need all-wheel drive so um, or do we do we buy another one of these I mean that's always an option too so anyways I'm gonna leave it at that so uh, we will see you in the next episode I hope you enjoyed this one and hit the like button if you don't mind and uh, subscribe as well 